Hi everybody, in this video I wanted to show you how you can use some basic overlays when you stream from uh, the GeForce Experience app on your PC or specifically in this case a Shadow Cloud gaming PC although the function is exactly the same for a normal normal desktop PC so the idea is you know you, you might have something like you can see here stream starting soon um, and so the, the, the way it works is if you press Alt Z when you're uh, when you've got your, your gaming PC on you'll bring up the GeForce Experience app and what you want to do is if you click on broadcast live and go to settings then scroll down currently at the time of recording this video you can have up to three um, custom overlays um, so that when you start your stream or halfway through the stream, whatever you can activate these overlays, so they go over the top of your your gameplay, and they can say you know say various things. So, for example, I the three I've got are there's um, a stream starting soon, and then there's thanks for watching, please follow or subscribe, and then the other one is back in a bit, I think. Yeah, back in a bit. So they're, they're the three I use. Now the first kind of step in this is obviously make your overlays however you want to do that but you want to make sure you save them as a PNG so for example in Photoshop you would go file save as and instead of saving them as a JPEG or a Photoshop file in the drop down menu make sure you save them as a PNG file that one like that and then you want to get them up to your um, shadow cloud game PC or if, if it's your normal PC just just save them in a folder where you know where they are um, and then what you want to do is Alt Z, bring up the GeForce Experience, um, click on settings underneath broadcast, and then if you click on this little um, three dots, you can then uh, tell it where to look, um, and then you can select which one you want. There we go, let's do that again. So there's, I could click on that one, I could click on one of these files, or we could go to, and we could find the other one. There we go. You, know, you could select, you know, which which one do you want to have on? Um, there we go. Now the other aspect is how do you activate these these files when you're actually streaming? And probably the best way to look at that is if you just go into settings and then go into keyboard shortcuts and then scroll down, you'll see custom overlays. Now. The first one, toggle custom overlays on or off, will probably already be there, Alt plus F5. So you start your stream to YouTube or Twitch or um, wherever, and you press Alt F5, and then your first overlay will appear. And then you've got to come up with the, the key bindings for the other ones. So what I've done is, because there's quite a few Alts used, I've used Alt Shift F6 for overlay one, Alt Shift F7 for overlay two, Alt Shift F8 for overlay three. Might be an idea to write that down, have it on a post-it note somewhere near your computer so you can actually see it. And that way, as you're doing your stream, you know, you could do Alt F5 to turn it on. So you've got your first uh, stream overlay there, the one that's a stream starting soon. If you've got to go off and answer the door or go for a toilet break or make a drink, you press Alt Shift F7 to bring up your back in a bit one. And then when your stream's ending, you can say, thank you very much, go Alt Shift F8. That would bring up the stream ending. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. You know, you can leave that up for like 30 seconds before you end the stream to give you a nice, uh, nice bookend to your stream that way. So there we go. That's how you use very simple overlays with the GeForce Experience. And if you're if you're wondering what about all the capture software? What about all the streaming software? The beauty is if you've got an NVIDIA graphics card on your PC, laptop, or in this case a cloud shadow gaming PC. The ability to encode your stream or record um, gameplay is kind of built in to the NVIDIA uh, chipset, um, the way that it encodes it, and it uses very little overhead in terms of processor power. So it's a very efficient way of encoding video and sending it out, and probably more important, it's a very, very simple way. You know, once, once you've set it up and you've connected your accounts, it's really simple. You just go live, and it's great quality, it doesn't really affect the performance of your PC as you're playing, um, and it does exactly what it says in the tin. Nothing else, you know, it's not like you're running Streamlabs or 
OBS with uh, with multiple plugins where you've got things you know custom custom um, notifications going on. But to get you starting in started in streaming from a PC, it's definitely a viable option. Anyway, that's enough from me. Hopefully, you find that useful. If you have, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.